So now Shri Prakasham Pillai is asking that what is the non-attachment? And the Raman Vashi replies that destroying the thought at the very origin is the non-attachment, right? And the person and the reason for this non-attachment is so that you can realize yourself, right? So destroying the thought at the very origin itself is the non-attachment. So we have generally we have this idea like non-attachment is, you know, I like coffee and I have to renounce the coffee. So I am, you know, non-attached to the coffee. <laughs> so that is generally our idea of non-attachment. I like something, but I don't want to do it because I don't want to be attached to it. That kind of uh, uh, non-attachment. It can be very useful. In, in, in fact, the Bhagavad Gita and all that, they say initially you want to stay away from the senses because they are very addictive, right? And they are creating this tons of chaos in the mind if you keep engaging in them, right? So maybe in the beginning it is very useful. So we create, we create a little bit of distance from the sense object so that we have some space to work with ourselves, right? But uh, Ramon Mahesh is talking on a whole different level. He is saying, you know, he is saying, for example, the same example if we take, I am attached to the coffee, right? So he is saying, this thought should not even be complete in your mind that, you know, I want to have coffee, right? You detach that thought itself, right? You renounce that thought itself. That you are not, uh, you, I mean, forget the action. He is working on the level of thought. And he is saying, you need to do that in order to understand, in order to realize yourself, right? You are not doing this for uh, some kind of a ritualistic um, or in a, in a way to have some kind of, uh, uh, you know, austerity oriented life, but you're doing this so that you can realize yourself because these attachments are creating uh, that, you know, these attachments are pulling you away from the self, right? So the whole point of the Raman Vaishya is to understand who you are, who am I, right? And uh, he's saying uh, you should not even, you know, you should renounce the thought itself, right? You should renounce the thought itself. Uh, the thought should not even um, be completed and you should renounce it at the origin when the thought is actually arising, right? When the thought of uh, um, I, craving of uh, coffee is arising, that you need to work with that thought. He's saying you, sh you should not be working with, you know, um, actual action that you want to do it or you don't want to do it. I want to do it, I don't want... You don't want to work on that level. On the le What Truman Vaishya is saying, like you need to work on the level of thought. You need to be able to first have enough sensitivity to see, okay, this kind of thought is arising and you need to be able to destroy that thought right there with the who am I, of course. But you see, it is more subtle what he is teaching, right? He is teaching like you need to destroy the source of action. The thoughts are more subtle. It's like a cause of the action. So he is working on that level so that you can realize yourself, right? Straightforward answer. What is non-attachment? Destroying the thought at the very origin is the non-attachment. Then Sri Prakasham Pillai is asking, if somebody wants release or if somebody wants to be free of all this thing, right? Somebody wants to be liberated. For him, is it required to understand the tattva or nature of all these different categories? And tattva means, uh, so Sri Prakasham Pillai is uh, a uh, student of philosophy. So you probably know a lot of uh, different philosophy and I think this is coming from Samkhya. So they categorize the whole uh, world into 23 different elements, right? Elements like five gross elements, things like earth, fire, water, um, five senses, and this ego, mind, um, intellect, these kind of... So they divided the whole thing into these uh, 23, I think, different categories. And... Uh, Shri Prakasham Pillai is asking, do I need to know all these categories if I want to be liberated, if I want to be free of all this thing? And the Ramon Mahesh replies that, uh, imagine that you want to throw away all the garbage, right? And imagine that there is a garbage, this bag of garbage, and you just want to throw out all the garbage. Do you need to understand what is in that garbage, right? Do you want to know like each and analyze like, okay, this is a, a bottle and this is like a can or something? Do you want to do that, right? If you want to be free of all this thing, you want to just, you know, discard all the garbage altogether, right? You don't need to understand this is the part, this is how the sense is working or this is how the mind is working, this is how these things are working if you want to be free of all this, if you want to be released or liberated, right? Powerful answer, <laughs> right? You don't need to worry about these things uh, if you are really interested into knowing the self, if you're really interested into the self-knowledge. In fact, it's a very interesting thing that Amon Mahesh in another of his lecture, he says, um, these things are lifeless. Even the mind is lifeless. 
insentient. It doesn't have a, these things are not alive. Only the sentient thing is the consciousness, only the sentient thing yourself, right? So these things are more like different objects. That's all they are, right? And here he says, if you want to be, you know, if you want to know yourself, if you really want to know yourself, and here this uh, self may be confusing for us because we need to have enough penetration into the consciousness. We need to penetrate enough to see what we call ourselves is just the thought, it's just the mind. The, we are calling ourselves, we are calling a function of a mind ourselves, right? The ego, the thing we have said, right? I am creating the video. This I is what we are thinking we are, and this I is nothing but a thought, right? So it, we have to have penetration, deep enough penetration to see that wow, this is not what I am, this is just a thought. These are just like a, you know, play of different uh, elements. And then if somebody is interested to know themselves, right, then this question is more sincere, who am I, right? Then the question is more real in the sense of really, I want to know what exactly I am if I am not this. If you have penetration, if you have penetrated deep enough and the meditation can be very useful in that, right? Then if somebody is really interested into the self, then Ramon Maharshi is saying you don't have to worry about these different categories, right? Um, you can just throw them out just like, you know, uh, somebody is throwing out the garbage. You don't need to analyze and understand, ah, okay, this is how the sense works and this is how the mind works and all that. Okay, and then he says you need to consider all this like a dream, right? Like, if you want to wake up, you just don't care about what is the dream is about, right? What is happening in the dream? What is the different... <laughs> uh, laws of the dream and all that. If you want to wake up, you just want to throw it all out. 